we are in Albania. You guys down to like wait first, then I can move this announcement. This has been this has been my most stressful, my most stressful travel. Just a travel, travel in a while. I'm at the airport now, picked my bag, but like I'm just going to like set myself up before I like step outside. But like this has been my most stressful travel. I've had so many issues, like so many, so many now. Now I'm just going to I'm just trying to find my way to the apartment where I'm supposed to be staying but like it's, it's it started from <laughs> it started from weighing my bag and my bag was overweight how that happened I still don't know I had like 5 kg extra I opened the bag to like see what I can remove I just didn't find anything so I just had to pay I had to pay for extra luggage after paying for extra luggage I got to where they would check you know that place that they check your bag and tell you to remove and now I, I removed my perfumes, I removed two of my perfumes and I just didn't have an idea if I was going to be able to go through that place where you check your bag and bring out the liquids. I should have brought it out and I was able to go through but like my bag was one of the ones that they searched again and then they said oh has anybody else has had access to your bag and things like that and I'm just like I beg you people should please there is nothing in my bag. So I searched it all over again it was good. I got on the flight, got here, this man the man that checked me he wanted to see every single thing like where i'm staying my return ticket blah, blah, blah. i'm not running away i'm not running away darling this doesn't even look like a country where i can stay in anyway i'm gonna wait where i'm going to first You guys, I finally got into the apartment, and all I can say is this is giving. It's giving. It's giving my house away from my house. It's really nice. It's really, really nice. Like it's a very compact. There's a com compact apartment. Let me show you guys really quickly from the door. Obviously, this is the entrance. Coming from here, there is the dining. There is kitchen area. Very nice place. This is the living area. There's TV there. Really nice then the bathroom this is another thing that is like lovely the bathroom is also really nice this is the bath there's even a washing machine the heater thing lovely and the toilets of course and this sink though this sink wow and this is the bedroom that's a window by the way that's giving my reflection but this is the bed there's also another tv here there's an ac the wardrobe i really hope that i'm giving you guys like proper proper tour of this place but like i'm very tired first of all let's start from there i don't know where to turn on that light but i feel like it would be very nice if i find it so yeah that's it really i'm i'm really tired you guys me i'm very much exhausted <laughs> yeah, i'll show you guys very well tomorrow morning if you know if I see that these clips are not very nice, but yeah. Um, went to Yana. The weather also is really nice. It's like calm. It's not so hot, and it's not like cold, cold like UK cold. So yeah, I'm just going to freshen up now and look for food. Fingers crossed, we find food. But yeah.
you guys, honestly, I've been awake since so what's the time? Oh, it's already 10. I've been awake for like an hour. But yeah. Let me I want, I need to first give you an update about looking for what's it called? About looking for food yesterday. So we looked for food, but like it was it was okay. Genuinely it was nice. We had wrap and wrap and chips and like yogurt. But like we know better now, like if we're buying it again, it's not going to be we're not going to buy it like together because they wrapped everything together. That's not my kind of food to be honest. It was good, so yeah, we walked out to get food yesterday. So today we're going to the town center, Tirana Center. So uh, I have a whole schedule for this trip. Do you guys believe me? Like I have a whole schedule that has like table. But anyway, we're going to the museum, we're going to the castle, something something square, house of leaves. And the pyramid. The pyramid is the one I'm really excited about because I've seen pictures about it. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. And then obviously get a place to eat dinner later on. So I had breakfast. I had yogurt in the morning. We never finished it, so yeah. I had yogurt in the morning. When we step outside, we'll get brunch or lunch, whatever it is. I'm still trying to check for our workout tomorrow because tomorrow we want to go to Berat. Berat is another town. It's a very nice place from here, very small town, but like we need to figure out our movement. I feel like we can we can use bus so is it this same bus that we are here? Hi guys, so Edison Money again. Um, I got a few questions about this Amber scholarship and I thought to clarify some things and also share some tips and tricks that I think will be useful for anyone that is planning to apply for this scholarship. Like I mentioned in my last video, um, the scholarship will be given to three people and it has started. First tip, I think, because you're going to have to submit a statement of purpose or um, what's it called? A statement of... Um, it's my of purpose, Sha, and you're going to explain why you think you are eligible, why you think you deserve the scholarship, and why you should get the scholarship. First tip I'm going to give is um, avoid being emotional in your statement of purpose because it just feels like, oh, you're trying to get pity. What you should do is highlight your points and make your points known and make it very clear and put across. Explain the reason why you want to get the scholarship, explain what it's going to do for you, explain what it's going to do for your future, you know self and how it's going to impact your studies and knowledge and things like that just explain it and put make your ideas very feasible and make them very clear so that it's easy for whoever is reading it to know exactly what you want to do with your course and why you deserve the scholarship another tip i'm going to give is very very important apply early enough because obviously when the rush of applications start coming in at the end of the at the end of the time frame it's very easy for them to just go and pick the people that you know applied early so I would say apply early enough. The um, scholarship, um, what's it called, application has started already, started since the uh, beginning of this month and it's going to last until December. So what I would say is apply early enough, put in your application, plan everything you're going to write and do your statement of purpose, everything in like two days, three days so that you can put in your application early enough. Anybody can apply, like I said before, from anywhere as long as you have admission in the UK or you have like... Um, what was it called a letter of admission already and of course of course don't forget to get your accommodations through amber students homes like this is the easiest way to get student accommodation if you're coming from another country and you're just looking for how to settle in and yeah good luck with your applications and i hope that everyone that applied have you know positive response from it so yeah let's go right back into the vlog right hi guys Wow, the place is not. Let me, let me give you guys more lightning. Hi, I am done now. We're ready to step out, go and see this city. Let me show you guys outfit of the day. This is my outfit of the day. Let me move closer. Yeah, I'm wearing this um, orange tank top with my jeans and this green kimono jacket that I showed you guys in my last vlog. I'm also going to pair it with these shades, yeah, and white sneakers really, like I'm not done done dressing but like that's me done and next time you'll be seeing me we're probably already outside, yeah, loving the ensemble, I'll show you guys my shades, yeah. Where we're going to 
las dos situaciones. ¿eh? After that museum, me, I am tired and I am hungry. We came to one place. My phone was hanging for like a few minutes. So we had tacos and shrimp, which was not nice. <laughs> oh God, madam, I don't understand you. This woman is talking to us and I don't know what she's saying. But anyway, they're doing a food, street food festival, I think. And that's where we're seated. I'll show you guys in a minute. And there are also some people setting up like a concert there yeah. anyway it should be nice we'll be here for a while So we couldn't find a restaurant to eat basically like I don't know what it is But like everything is just a cafe and they're all just selling sandwiches or pizza or like and the restaurants that we found are like very far So basically we resulted into cooking for this night Then tomorrow we know that <coughs> I'm very far So we bought some chicken, beef, rice, tomato paste I'm just going to mix everything together Sha and make dinner for tonight. So that's what I'm currently doing. You guys, this is what I eventually came up with. And this is the chicken. I feel like chicken looks really nice. To tell I'm looking for where to but you know what i from uh, hi guys first of all like um i recorded a video for sorry i'm not using my tripod that's why this is shaking in here but i recorded a video for instagram it might be up by now already i might put it by the side here i mean instagram and tiktok i don't even know i should have recorded a video sha of me doing my makeup it's like no makeup makeup look kind of situation um we're going out now we're going to cable car we're going to take the cable car we're going to the cable car and from the cable car we're going to have, have lunch out then go to bunk at one i think is the one around there then when we're done there we'll come back here probably hope it depends on the time go straight to dinner or come back then go to dinner but anyway yeah that's what's going on and i'm going to take my camera out today because yeah and you guys i think i forgot my batteries my extra batteries i think i forgot at home i thought i brought it but like i can't find it i still need to check my box but i really can't find it and that's that's bad like why did I why do I have extra batches if I can't take extra if I can't what's it called bring it I'm just upset and I hope that I did not leave it in the airport remember I told you guys that they were searching my bag in the airport I hope it didn't fall or something because that's what I'll pay me pass but anyway I am we're leaving now and I'll speak to you guys later I shouldn't want you I shouldn't need you but I'm afraid that's not up to me Cause when I hear ya sing through my speakers, it's like my mind takes a hold of me. I've tried shutting you off for some time now, but I'm still hearing your voice in my head. Oh, I wish I was more than you. You guys, so my 
Today is not the best day to come and do this cable car thing because the view is so beautiful. But like, I'm not able to get it on my phone or like even my camera is just it's not doing it justice. I don't want to look down because it's a bit scary. But yeah, let me show you guys one. I don't know. Oh, it's vibrating. It's vibrating. The people that really wrote on this, on this, on this skinny, they are not bright. has gone off and i didn't know experience why i'm using my phone but yeah we were hungry and we ordered food from these guys um we found them on instagram and like they do food deliveries in in albania so i'm just going to open up to show you guys what we've got got a poke bowl i've never had one before at least it's well packaged so that's a good sign cutleries this is sweet chili sauce for the poke bowl i'm guessing um we got two different types of fried rice we got the shrimp fried rice and the pork one this is the pork one. Ah, oh, it looks good though wow it looks really good really good and this is the shrimp one i made i asked them to make it extra spicy so i'm really hoping that it's extra spicy but that's dinner i will give you guys a review if it's nice when i finish eating but yeah that's what's up not too dark and salad is spotted this is the best mm -hmm. okay Hi guys, this place is going to be echoing, you're going to be hearing this fan, but like there's almost nothing I can do at this point. And I was just saying that I've never picked my phone, sorry, my camera since morning. And that's because first of all, I've been doing day in, so like we didn't go anywhere today. And we're just about to go out to dinner, birthday dinner. And yeah, I'm just about to do my makeup and I just thought 
let me do my makeup with you guys. Since it's been a while we did that. I'm not doing full full makeup with you guys, don't get me wrong, but like you know something, something, something. Oh, you guys, do you know I'm literally just remembering? I'm just remembering that I didn't like update you guys. I know you saw a clip before now of us buying tickets. So basically, I mentioned in my travel prep vlog that I was going to two different countries. So yeah, that's what's up. I am going to Montenegro tomorrow and yeah, I don't even know why I, I didn't know. I didn't remember to like, update you guys about that. I'm going to Montenegro tomorrow and we're going by bus as per like road trip thing because um transfer system here is not as as good and like there's no straight flights. There's no direct flights. All the flights are like seven hours and like three stops or two stops or like one stop, which doesn't make sense. When there is like three hours bus and like it's just going to be a road trip. So that was what we we had to go to the bus um company to buy the ticket because we wanted to be sure if we could like take our luggage with us which we can so um according to the lady that attended to us she said that um what's it called we only need to pay two euro to the driver for our bus when we, for our um, luggage and when we get to the bus station but we bought the ticket for um 17 pound for one way and we can always buy the return ticket at um What's it called at Montenegro? It should in case we need to get it to come back. So basically, yeah, that was what that was about. Say I'm the man. Say I'm the man. Come on, get the road on me. Can't fool me. Wish I was me. <laughs> you guys, that song used to be one of my favorite songs one time. But anyway, I've done my makeup now. My camera went off because they say videos, it needs to cool down. And I cannot be waiting. So I've done my makeup now. I have so much time to spare. It's already 6 o'clock. Our reservation is not till 8 30. Chance is coming to because by 8. So I'm just, you know, I'm going to pack up my makeup today now so that I have less than school when we come back. But yeah, this is the final look. I'm going to add on more lip gloss. I'm going to do my hair and come back and show you guys my outfit. My outfit today is sitting hot. It's, it's, I'm finished. You guys, a minute for the dress. A minute for the side of the dress. <laughs> Let me show you guys my face up close. Let me go to the kitchen. What's this beauty? Explain it to me. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me what the beauty is about. Anyway, we're stepping out in a minute. Next time I'll check with you guys probably at the restaurant. So yeah. Talk to you later. You depend on my weakness. Satisfying you and I keep bleeding. I don't know. Almost 5 a.m. by 4:48 or 4:40 something. Oh, I'm tired. 
anyway um i'm going to catch our bus now to montenegro so i'm going to be ending the vlog here so that we can start another one when we get to i don't even know if you guys can see me but anyway so that was that one i guess most never so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel do not forget to share this video with your friends until i see you again in my next one babies take care of yourselves and bye